So we're here at Charlotte Pass trapping pig and possums and I'm back from ANU and I'm studying their diet at the moment to look at the, num the levels of bogong moth in the diet and see if it's changing with the changing climate. And I'm Linda Broom, I'm Beck's supervisor. I've been studying the possums here for 21 years now and we're looking at the long-term effects of uh, population fluctuations in response to climatic factors. The mountain pygmy possum is very special because it's Australia's only animal that hibernates. It spends its winter asleep under the snow. So there are about 500 adults in Kosciuszko National Park and during the last five or six years um, they've been reducing in numbers in some of the larger areas that we trap. Like in Charlotte Pass here near the ski resorts they've been declining since 97 from up around 30 females down to about eight. The implications of climate change are very broad scale over many environments, but the mountain pygmy possum is, is an example, a very good example, of one species that is very dependent on snow, that is so susceptible to climate change. We've got about 300 metres of elevation of snow cover from 1,800 metres up to 2,228 metres, which is the top of Mount Kosciuszko. And our best population now is sitting right on the top of Mount Kosciuszko, and they have nowhere to go. Part of the problem is that the snow's been melting a bit earlier and this year we found that the, the snow melted before the bogong moths got here. It melted about a month before the moths arrive. So the possums wake up, they're hungry after hibernating all winter. And if they don't find the moths, then they're scrambling around to try and find something else to eat, which is affecting their numbers. We're noticing that one of their major food plants, the leucopogon, has been very badly affected by the drought this year and to the point that a lot of the plants are dying because they're, they're so drought stressed. And so that means that even though there's less bogong moths up here during the droughts, they're becoming even more important in the diet because all the other alpine species are declining. The long-term um, prognosis for the possum is not good, to be honest. And to really fix the problems, we need to do something about global warming, climate change, try and stop reducing the, the loss of snow cover. And that's a global responsibility. Everyone's got to take responsibility for that.